Just outside of Athens in Watkinsville, Georgia sits Butterfly Dreams Farm, a 10 acre equine therapy riding complex that specializes in helping children with autism. Its founder, Kat Vereen, established Butterfly Dreams after seeing the way horses impacted her adopted child, Allie, who sadly passed away in 2002. According to Kat, horses gave Allie her reason to laugh, smile, and created a place where her body and heart felt safe. We have children all the way from children who are nonverbal and unable to participate in very many activities that typical children participate in, all the way up to kids who are going to grow up to be scientists and, and can do many, many things. But um, autistic, kids with autism have um, lots of sensory deficits and information that goes into their brain just isn't processed the way information goes into a neurotypical brain. Um, so they, get, they can become super, super overwhelmed. And they, something like a fan going or um, a, just any kind of a noise or a light, a fluorescent light, something that we would just be able to tune out, they're not able to tune out. And um, so that's part of it. They just, so their sensory systems are off and they get overstimulated really easily and they're just not able to function as other kids might be able to function. As the parent of a child with highly functioning autism, one of the things I find fascinating is that no two children or adults who are autistic are exactly alike. Some are withdrawn, keep to themselves, and have difficulty communicating. For others, like my son, they struggle with more developmental deficits in maintaining appropriate behavior across settings. But what's so unique about equine therapy is that it caters to everyone on the spectrum. This is such a huge benefit for them to be able to look this being in the eye, to increase these social skills, to tell them what to do, to see them responding. It's, it's really a beautiful thing. And then additionally, the movement of the horse, um, it mimics how our hips move when we walk. And what that does is it stimulates each hemisphere of the brain. So we get cross hemisphere interaction. And that is what can help speed up all kinds of therapeutic benefits. There's a lot of research going on in this area right now. Um, we're kind of just beginning to reach the, the tip of the iceberg of really the amazing benefits that these horses have. We have two different things going on, which I'm, I guess you've probably heard. We do, I do the hippotherapy, which is, um, so I'm working with, with kids with speech therapy. So my goals are all communication when I'm working with kids. Um, but even within what I'm doing, I, I may have a completely nonverbal child who's using a communication system to communicate. Um, all the way to a child perhaps might like your child where the child is extremely verbal and is working on those nuances of social language. Um, and again, like I said, the horse, these kids will buy into these horses feelings so much better than they'll buy into anyone else's. They may not care who, what this person and this person and this person thinks, but they care about what these horses think. And then we see it generalized and that's the beautiful thing. So they start feeling it and caring about these horses and then, and then their moms are coming back telling us stories that um, look what this thing happened on the playground that never would have happened before. It's not something that people outgrow. It's, it's not something that's gonna go away. But what we can do is to teach them coping skills. We can teach them ways of living the most enriched life possible. Um, and we can do that through, a, there's a ton of different mechanisms. But equine assisted therapy seems to be so intuitive. And, you know, I, I would like to take the credit as a therapist. Look what I have done. No, it's not me. It's the horses. The horses do all the work and it's amazing. And they start to learn coping mechanisms for what's very uncomfortable feelings that they're just, they're gonna have to live with their whole lives. I guess I always tell people, God didn't just open doors for me. God like opened doors and like shoved me through them. He just would put, every, every turn I took, there was somebody there, the right person was there, the right contact was there, the right friend was there, the right child was there. It just, it was just kind of amazing. I had never seen anything like it. And, um, and, and it was hard initially to, to, cause it just, everything made me think of Allie. 
but since then I just think I, I just think of her in heaven looking down here and just what a joy it must be for her to just see kid after kid after kid have joy like she had joy doing the thing that she loves so much so it's been very healing for me and it's been so healing for so so many individuals I just feel like um, I just feel hugely blessed that we were able to put this together and it and it be something that we can always remember was a part of Allie. Just an incredible place and what a job Kat and her staff are doing. And if you'd like more information on Butterfly Dreams Farm, log on to the address you see there on your screen. That's ButterflyDreamsFarm.org.